Let's take a look at what a GeoJSON file is and how you can get one into QGIS. GeoJSON is one of many GIS file formats. Other ones include Shapefile, GeoPackage, KML, and many, many more. Loads of them you haven't even heard of. But on this web map, we have a layer and it's national parks. I can turn it on and off. And GeoJSON is a very popular file format for putting GIS data on web maps. So in this example from the national map of planning data for England, what we're seeing here is lots of different GeoJSON layers. It's an open file format and it's just text format where there's a list of coordinates that defines points, lines or polygons. In this case, I can scroll to the bottom of the map. I can click on data sets used to create this map. And from there, I can just search for national parks or national park. Then I can click on the link and the data set is available in GeoJSON format. So I can right click and save link as, and that will save the file to my computer. I've already saved this to a separate folder. So let's switch to QGIS and here's the file. There's a number of ways you can add data to QGIS, but an easy way is just to drag and drop your GeoJSON file into the map canvas or into the layers panel. I'll just drop it in the map canvas. And what would happen then is, let me minimize this. It may take a moment. You might have to click an add layers button or something, but often this will happen. It will just appear. And then I can click it on the left and open the table for the layer. If I want to add some background mapping here, I can do that very quickly. I can go to XYZ tiles on the left and I can double click open street map. And then I'll just drag open street map beneath national parks. And in this case, the map looks a bit fuzzy because it's a global base map. So I'll just do one final thing in the bottom right. I'll click the little EPSG button. I'll search for three, eight, five, seven in the search box and I'll make sure that pseudo Mercator is selected. I'll click OK and there we have our national parks. So that's the GeoJSON layer from the web straight into QGIS.